Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are doing a custom van challenge. Boogie vans from the 70s. Sick paint jobs, pipes, mags, you name it, we're doing it. I happen to have another one of these Sleeping Beauty vans. As you know, I stole the mags from this and put it on the drift car. So I got a spare body, which is just perfect because I need a nice, clean, crispy body for the paint job we're going to do today. So, perfect candidate. And I think it's about time we could uh, we could get going on this. Jimmy, no, get back in there! Still not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing for paint. I've got a couple different things we could do. But I don't have a solid plan yet. Ish. Maybe the problem is, is I have two plans in my head and I haven't decided which one. So we'll see where things go here. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a minute. Man, they put epic level clear coat on these vans. Crazy. Just crazy. Bye bye, Prince Charming. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Okay, we got our van here. First thing I'm going to do is take some Scotch Brite. Clean this bad boy up. Especially above these wheel wells because we're going to be adding fender flares and we need a lot of uh, nice tooth for our epoxy putty to cling on to. More tooth the better. Ooh, Scotch Bray does a nice job. Pew, 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 pew. So last time around a lot of people, well not a lot, but a few people suggested wetting my fingers before handling the putty. So we're gonna see if that helps with um with how tacky everything gets. It's like super super sticky and the little bit of moisture on your fingers is supposed to kinda shut that down so we're gonna give that a try this is my two parts JB quick weld epoxy right here high heat should have wet the knife back on to here and we will seal that up for another day so here's our little chunk of epoxy. We're just going to mix these two together. Let's get this plastic off. It's kind of like a little wiener wrapper. You've got a teeny bit of water here in my little lobster bowl. We're going to give this a try. Oh, it's, it's quite nice already. It's mixing into the putty a little bit, but I don't think that's going to be a huge concern. Just because it's it's all, it's all chemical reaction. Let's see how well this sticks. Yeah, it feels pretty good. I've used this stuff a few times. I'm not too concerned about um, putting too much on at this point, just because I know it comes off pretty easily. And I try to make sure I get some on the inside because it's going to help keep that fender flare locked on there because i got to cut away quite a bit of this. It's only going to be a skinny little flare. We're not doing like a wide body kit. But the water does seem to help quite a bit. Just kind of just, just a drop. It's quite nice actually. Feeling pretty good about that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my little side cutting bit here and I need to find the original wheel wells. Very important. If we start from the top, you could take off more material than you mean to. So we're going to start at the bottom and find the wheel well. And from there, we can shape out our fender flares. I 
Now that all the wheel walls are established, we can start working on the outside. I only need a fender flare that's about that big. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed this up and mill some off the side. That was quite a bit better. So now I feel pretty good about just cutting with my knife. Things are starting to look pretty good over here. Getting all boogied out. Ooh, starting to feel pretty good about this. Got to be real careful. These flares are fragile, so you don't want to don't want to drop your car at this point because you can break them off. So far, so good. I think we're almost ready to do a little bit of painting. That's going to be the the hardest part of this build is doing the paint and fenders. Fender flares getting pretty easy. But to do a boogie van paint job, that's going to be intense. So I think I'm going to get these cleaned up and I'm going to figure out a paint scheme. And we're just going to do it. I'm going to do a base color on the body and then I'll come back to the desk here. And then we're going to start taping. Crazy taping. Okay, I'm ready to start taping up this masterpiece. Let's just uh, let's make up a paint job. First thing I want to figure out is what is going to be black. For starters, I need something to hold this up. I'm going to need to do this on the other side, so I'm trying to keep it simple. I'm going to be doing some cutting on here in a minute, so still not 100% sure what I'm doing. Just going to start by laying down a whole bunch of heavy white sparkle and uh, from there maybe we'll start putting some colors on. Everything that's masked right now for the most part is going to be black, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this. Well, I'm digging the look so far, but I need to let this dry so we can keep working on it. And I definitely want to get some color in here and some more sparkles and some other things. So we're going to let this dry for now and then we'll figure out what the next step is. Next, I'm going to throw a little bit of Quicksilver into the mix in the back half of the van here. Starting to look pretty boogie, but we still need more color. We need more color. We're still too dark. I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna figure out the next step. Okay. I'm gonna hit the bottom half of our body with some candy blue and hopefully we have a good effect between the silver and the sparkles.
Still looking pretty dark. I like to brighten it up somehow. I was thinking about using the quicksilvered area. Maybe we'll just hit the top with a bright color. I don't know. It's going to look sweet when it's under a clear coat. But, um, let's see here. What can we do? All right, so I did an M2 axle tube mod. I think they're all Kragers. They might be torque thrusts. Torque thrusts weren't available in the 70s, but, you know, whatever. These are nice rims. Did a couple little details on the front here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this thing is a low rider. This front lip is just scraping. It's lower than the Mustang we did. It's crazy. It's crazy. Interior, basic black. Totally fine with that. Nothing too insane. Might have to snip off these little titties down here, possibly. And let me show you the body. Oh, custom van. Check it out. We got the mirrored chrome perv windows. Pimp. It's looking pretty custom. Now on the back here, something happened when I was baking the paint. This used to say slippery in gold and then Jimmy in red. But when I was baking my paint to cure it, the, the slippery part turned kind of orange. So we're left with we're left with a with a slippery Jimmy that's kind of skewered, but we got some uh, we got some little tail lights in there and everything. In case we're about ready to put this put this guy back together. I thought about going for the whole you know heart shaped bed in the back, but yeah, it's just you're never gonna see it. Wasted energy. The, the extra energy I spent on the paint, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. These new ones go together kind of weird. Not like our old cars. Hell yeah, man, I think it's sweet. Pimp. Well, that was pretty fun. It wasn't exactly what I was going for. I wanted more detail. I had a plan for way more detail on the paint, but it, it's it's really hard when it gets this small. But overall, I mean, it turned out pretty good. She's shiny. She's sparkly. I mean, let me get some light on the situation here, so you guys can see. She's a glitter sparkly queen. Oh. Pretty wild. Anyways, I'd be proud to drive this baby. The slippery Jimmy. Feeling that, feeling that. I finished the whole thing with a, a heavy gold hot rod sparkle. That's what gives it its kind of glimmer. Be able to see it really on the roof. There. See that? Seen that sparkle on the roof, boy? Oh, anywhere the light hits, just gets glamoured. Old Jimmy's gonna be having all kinds of fun in this thing. Anyways, I haven't posted in a while, so you guys are probably dying for a video. So I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her done on this one. And um, I thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you check out Hodges Hot Wheels, Deep Junk Garage. And my buddy, Outlaw Speed Shop. I'm going to have links in the description for all their videos. You let us know whose van you're feeling the most. It's going to be mine. You guys like mine the best. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all just for fun. It's for fun. So be nice. Be nice. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's still sparkling.